Well, howdy everyone. 420 Grower here. And this is my Thug Pug Genetics Pheno Hunt. We are on day 63. And things are finishing up. Uh, probably uh, going to take these down in a couple of days. They've been flushing for over two weeks now. Um, this Bahama Mama here in the corner is definitely done. And uh, the rest of the plants are showing various uh, stages of fade. I would like to see a little more. Um, this here is a sure breath. She looks pretty good. And this is one of two phenos of my banana breath. And then these two here are, are from the same plant. Uh, and they are the ones I really like because they're showing a lot of purple, which I like. And also, um, they're incredibly well stacked. Uh, and then, there is this little mutant here. I mean, she's stacked from top to bottom, but the buds are really small. Uh, she's an OG Kush Breath Leaner. Uh, she made one side branch and that's it. Um, I don't think she's going to stick around. Let's get over to the other side. Okay, so this little plant here, another OG Kush Breath Leaner, she's a garlic breath. She's a nice plant, but she's kind of small. She's the smallest plant in here. And I don't know, you know, I'll flower her again, but I'm pretty sure she won't stick around either. Got my peanut butter breath here. I am starting to see some purple come into this one. And she actually looks pretty good. This is the OG Kush Breath Leaning uh, Peanut Butter Breath. And uh, this one is a more traditional, I think she uh, leans away from that. She's more Mendel breath leaning, I think. And uh, she looks nice, she's frosty. I don't really see any purple coming into her at this point. Not a huge selection. Um, I just, you know, things go the way they go. We had a bunch of seeds out of 40 seeds. Uh, we only wound up with seven girls and uh, a lot of mutants and a lot of males. So uh, this is it. I do have a bunch of uh, peanut butter breath F2s that I sprouted. Uh, I have one growing in my other closet and she might be a good plant. And then I got another pack from the breeder who sent it to me. So those are up. They're small and I will veg them up and then flower them and hopefully between everything here I will find the peanut butter breath pheno that I'm really looking for. This one is close but we'll just have to see you know sometimes you can't really tell what a plant does till you've got it dried and trimmed up I don't think any of these plants in here are going to yield a whole hell of a lot with the possible exception of the banana breath over here but you know everybody says you know quality over quantity but I want both you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time growing a plant and not get any yield from it. So, 
there are strains out there that have top quality and yield well so there's no reason to keep a bad yielding plant in my opinion some of you may disagree anyway um, that's what we have for this week uh, these will be coming down probably in another few days uh, I don't want to take them to 70 uh, but I will wait a little bit to give them a little more time to fade out like I said they've been they've been flushing for close to three weeks now so uh, I don't think much is going to change so anyway um, that's it for for this grow pretty much uh, when it's done uh, I have uh, cuttings of all these plants that have been trained to a manifold system and they will go in next so stay tuned for that um, yeah so happy gardening to y'all take care of yourselves don't forget to stay green all right see y'all later bye bye